Hey there, folks. Welcome to another 4322 Innistrad Block Draft. And the rare is garbage. I don't want to be building eight mana spells, so I think I'll just take the captain. I like blue white enough already. So uh, let's jump all over spirits in exciting fashion. Uh, followed up with a nibbles of the breath. Pretty clear pick. It's either that or burning oil, but I don't want to splash at all if I can help it. So we'll just take this. Hopefully wheel a Nibbles in the Mist. Well, we'll see what happens. So far we got our spirit train uh, rolling down the tracks. Let's hope we get past another captain. How's that? Uh, no such luck. But we get a Nibbles in the Mist. Which is a nice aggressive card. And nothing else in white or blue, so... Jumping on it, we have our Nibbly with Captain overseeing their their actions. Go Nibbles, go! Alrighty, so we can go gather, a uh, chant. What's this? Turn, exile all non-land permanent target player controls. Turn them at the beginning of the next end step. So I guess it's a uh, six mana. Get rid of your stuff, and I swing. I think I'd rather have just a turn two play. Being a gather, which I like quite a bit. Need another lord, a saving grasp, or a thought scour. Hmm. I think I'm inclined to take the saving grasp just for the, if I can live the the fiend hunter dream. Yeah, I think I'll go Saving Grasp here. Thought Sour is pretty good, but I want to try it out. I've heard a lot. I've always heard people talking about Saving Grasp plus Fiend Hunter. But I think there's more. I mean, there's Slayer, which is pretty good. Uh, Tower Geist is okay. A couple, of, uh, even a Nibbles of the Mist isn't terrible. A few more coming to play effects. We'll see what happens. Certainly not my favorite fifth pick. Ooh, Epson's Collar. That is very nice for us. Humans die, making spirits. What more could you ask for? To get much more over a counter lash. Collar and a gather. That seems pretty fun. I'm excited for Collar. I like this card a whole bunch. Alrighty. Well, it is a spirit. The other option is a ward in the wall, but I think we want to be aggressive as much as we can. It's seen a few mill type effects, a bunch of screeching scabs, this chill foreboding. But I don't really want to go mill deck. I think the Shriek Geist will be fine. Terrible card, but since we're already in Spirits. And here's a Human to go with our Collar. Got a lovely, lovely low curve going for us. A few, you know, questionable cards. But, uh, I like all the other ones. Collar, Gather, Nibbles. All good things. Uh... Chalice? Well, what kind of... See that or the hood, but we're going to be so evasive anyway. Maybe some life gain will be just a nice little fun thing to do. Yeah, I'm not going to play anything else. Well, we get Curse. I think I'll just rather have the break a day. I don't want a Sanctuary Cat. Artful Dodge or Fengraf. I think I'd rather Fengraf. Well, I am evasive already, so... Fengraf is decent. Uh, Garbage. Not gonna play Bar of the Door. Talons is... I've actually seen people play Talons and it isn't... Wow. That's super late. I've... <laughs> I've listened to everybody. I've grown to really... Talk up the Undying Evil. I've seen it in action. 
and it is good. But I don't think I will be able to play it. So a decent pack one. Really aggressive. And now we're hit with a counterpart. Which goes really good with our captain. Let's see if we can just top out this curve at three. Yeah, I like cackling counterpart. Really hope to land another captain. That is going to be my dream. And we get an invisible stalker. Which is awesome. I would like a silent departure, but stalker can be broken, especially if you pick up a cleaver. He's a human. There's a lot of good packs or cards in here for us. Silent departure, chapel guys, Thraven Sentry. Even a Spectral Flight or a Pitchfork. All good things, but Stalker is going to be for us. And a Mausoleum Guard. Perfect. I would like a Silent Departure, but Uncommons are hard to find, and this guy is the perfect card for us. Him with a Collar makes three Spirits. Are you kidding me? That is just awesome. And an Intangible Virtue. I think we can wheel it, so I'm going to take the Doom Traveler. I really hope we can wheel it. I think we can. So, Doom Traveler it is. And if we, you know, we only have, well, I suppose we're going to have a lot of spirits, hopefully. I would love to wheel that card. Uh, Elder Cathar is pretty good. I mean, we're not going to have to splash red. We could hate out a Scarecrow, but Cathar can be a main deck card for sure. Another Doom Traveler, which is nice. Now I'm really, really hoping that Virtue gets around to us. Won't have to play Shriekgeist. Or the Break a Day, maybe. Yeah, feeling pretty good. So, Curiosity, Sensory Deprivation, could just go Makeshift Mauler. We have virtually no removal at the moment. But, we're going to have a lot of things dying. I think we just, a 4 or 5 body is going to be pretty good for us. We do have a lot of evasion, so Curiosity could be played pretty well, but I think we just want the 4-5. The I think he's going to be enough as far as the the stitched type of guys. Uh, Spirit? Yes, sir. Like, I don't want to pick up a lot of stitched rakes or any of those. One's plenty. May not even make the deck. Who knows? I would like to top out at three. Well, it's going to be four regardless. We got the Mausoleum Guard. No Fiend Hunter or Slayer yet, but there's still hope. Pack three is coming soon. Uh, Mask is fine. Sure. Uh, I'm really hopeful. I'm hoping we get a Slayer, a Fiend Hunter, or a Butcher's Cleaver. Butcher's Cleaver might even make me want to play Chalice. <laughs> but uh, any of those three cards, I'd be more than happy and it would cement this deck as just pretty awesome. Uh, Spectral Flight is actually pretty good. I'm going to pick that up. Don't need the fixing. We're going to stay tight in blue-white. Unintentional rhyming. Uh, Think Twice is actually pretty good here. And we got a Virtue back. Awesome. That is so good in our deck. And... <laughs> it's hard to take it. You can't really hate it. So, we're at 23. And I suppose I'll take the Cellar Door, which will not be played. Neither will that. Oh, right there. Planes will be played. I'm going to hide the Fengraf for now. Just make our numbers a little easier to compute. So, Shriekgeist is first to cut. F 
followed by chalice and mask. In fact, I'm just going to hide the things I don't want to play. I don't want to play any of that. And saving your grasp may or not be played, depending on what we get here. Scab Ruinator is not going to be an option. It's a toss-up between Cloistered Youth and Voiceless Spirit. And we kind of benefit equally from both spirits and humans. We have a de decent flyers already in the threes, and I think just the Wicked 2-drop, which turns into three. Not that good with Collar when it's flipped, but good enough on its own. And this guy is pretty much impossible to play in our deck. So uh, we'll just get the nice 2-drop two, two aggressive card. And test subject. Well, that's actually tough. This card, it's hard to pass it. Like, we're so aggressive already that I'm more inclined to take Spectral Rider here. I think the Test Subject's a better card. But we have just so many synergies. Spectral Rider, Invisible Stalker, we're so aggressive. And he benefits from our Captain. He's not bad for a counterpart target. And hopefully we get some type of bounce spell. I think we just want to keep aggressive. Test subject is super good. And it can certainly win a game. But I think... Rider's just going to fit better in our deck. And reluctantly I'm going to take it. Uh, we tabled one virtue, so reason tells me we can table another. So I'll just take out Voiceless Spirit. Nothing really else. I mean, Sensory Deprivation is okay. But we'll just keep aggressive. Uh, Rally. Hysterical Blindness. I think I'll play the Rally just for a Pump Spell. We'll probably won't even play it, really. Maybe I want to hate something. Hate out and naturalize this early. I don't want to splash red. Circle Blindness isn't going to be a main deck card. I think I'm just going to hate it. Yeah. It kills our collar and our virtue. Which will hopefully be two virtues soon. I would like another token producer. If that's not too greedy. Uh, the window for saving grasp is getting lower and lower. Still might play it. We do want to keep our captain safe. Uh, Hamlet captain would be pretty nice here. Bell ringer's okay. I think a human tricky dude. Yeah, I think I just picked up the bell ringer. There's our. Oh man. <laughs> Why do these cards have to be the same pack? We have literally no removal. We'll probably have two intangible virtues, so I think I j I'm better suited just taking the Silent Departure. This is perfectly on theme and awesome. But we need some form of an out to a problem. And Feeling of Dread <laughs> and Silent Departure will fill those, those roles nicely. And not really excited for a scab glass, so just take a fox. And maybe the off chance we have to slay some vampires. No cleaver, sadly. So we'll just have the spectral flight. Uh, ghost quarter for problem land, perhaps. Just have the spectral flight to go with our stalker. And the collar, I suppose. Although we kind of want to be defensive with the collar. Yeah, the deck is looking pretty good. Uh, probably cut the bell ringer. There's our virtue. Uh, sure. I think I might even cut the mauler. Just a 
stay ultra aggro get value from our equipment Bell ringer seems a little out of place. Probably cut the thing twice. I'd like to keep all the creatures. Yeah, saving grasp, I'm sorry, but purify the grave for the board. Get that. So it's looking like this is our deck right here. Maybe throw in another. We can certainly get away with we could almost play fifteen lands, but sixteen will be fine. Maybe we just throw back in the thing twice. Hmm. We have all sorts of stuff. This card doesn't do it for me. Made that break a day. Let's see what we got here. Yes, 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 sir. Yep. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yes. Lots of goodies there. Maybe the Mauler, Captain for sure, this, yeah. And I'll probably play Fengraph. There's no reason not to. So that's 25. Let's separate our spells and our critters. Oh, two drops do not look nearly as impressive now. But here, we'll put Gather up there, Cackling up there. They're sort of like creatures. Stalker really only benefits from Spectral Flight. Which I suppose is... I suppose Mask isn't terrible in this deck. Put that on the Captain and you're fine. Stalker gets a little better. Yeah, let's cut the Mauler. Keep the curve as low as we can. So, we want to get down to 24. So, our possible cuts. Or, I think these two here. I think Mask is just going to be a little better. It's a little extra damage. I don't think we need the draw in such a streamlined deck here. Let's sort by color. Throw in our fen graph. Add some lands. Ten five, you say? Well, I think I'll go nine six. Got a double blue here. Certainly want that mana for our captain. Do have some double white. Do I want to go against what they suggest? Got a whole lot of white. Got that double white. What do we really need blue for? Not a whole lot, to, to be honest. That just, it looks off. Doesn't it? Yeah, trust my gut. So, really low curve, really aggressive. Got some good evasion. And a whole bunch of spirits, so I'll see you for round one. Wish me luck.